Hey guys, Matt here with CryptoBlick. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to update your Ledger Nano X. So if that sounds good to you, let's hop in and let's make it happen. And as always, with the recording of this video, I am enjoying this Y3 Cabernet Sauvignon today from Jack's Vineyards. It is a fantastic wine for the price point. It's a little less full-bodied um, than the full version of the Jack's, but anyways, it's a fantastic wine. Let's get back to the video and keep on moving. All right, so we are in here, and the first step you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and pull up your Ledger Live app. Once it pops up here, go ahead and plug in that password. And once you are inside your Ledger Live app, you're going to see that it is requesting a new update. So as of recording this video, I need to update Ledger Live to 2.45.0. That is the most latest software version available for Ledger Live. So let's go ahead and do that first because we'll update Ledger Live, then we'll update the firmware, and then if there's any apps that need to be updated, Ledger Live will do that for us. So first things first, go ahead and click on Download Update. You're then gonna see it says install now. So go ahead and click on that, it's ready. So go ahead and plug in that password one more time. Perfect, we are in. So now it is showing us what is has been updated, I should say, within Ledger Live. Um, 100 native Cardano tokens, for example. Um, and you can read more there if you want. I'm not here to just read off notes on updates. So let's kick, kick the, the, the Click continue. I cannot talk today. All right, so terms of use update. All right, so let's do continue. You can see that we are now updated to the latest version. Um, if you're ever curious, by the way, go on over to settings. You can do about, and you can see right here, version Ledger Live 2.45.0. That is the latest update, all right? So then let's go back to where we were at the portfolio. You're then going to plug in the Nano X here. And then come on down to manager. It's then gonna tell you already to plug it in, put in your pin code, I'm gonna show you right here. It's already asking for my pin code there, so I'm gonna put my pin in. All right, so now I am in. It is showing the different apps that I have installed on the Nano X, and it says, oh, by the way, allow Ledger Manager. We need to allow it, so we push both buttons here in front that you guys can see. Perfect, so now we are in. As, as you can see on the screen, it is loading everything, and then, all right, so it looks like I do not have a firmware that needs to be updated here. We do have 2.0.2. .2. Um, if there is an update for you, it will show up here at the top. It'll be a banner, just like with that uh, Ledger Life software version. Um, you can go look at my other videos that I've done, um, and it will, you can see an example of what it looks like. Um, but for this purpose here of the video, it's already been updated, let's move on forward. Um, but I, I always, let me say this here, hold on, let me say this before I go forward here. Always make sure that your content is up to date. I've had people comment on my videos in the past saying, hey, I haven't touched my ledger for five years or it's been two years and now I'm having issues with getting to up, uh, update. Okay, you have to think of yourself as your own bank. So please make sure Ledger Live is updated, make sure your firmware is updated, and then your, also your apps. I'm gonna show you that in a second. Make sure everything is updated on a regular basis. Um, you don't have to do as much as I do. I like to do it you know, ev at least every month to two months just to make sure that things are updated. They don't always come out with updates that quickly, but I do it to maintain my systems. So please, if, if you at least do it every three to six months, do that. Do not allow your Ledger products to lapse and then suddenly you're having major issues and you're having to reach out to customer service because, oh, I haven't touched it for three years. Please, please, just please do this for me. Keep your systems updated, okay? So do that. So then, now that we know that the firmware is already updated, you can then come down to updates that are available, okay? And it shows me that, okay, Polkadot, Ethereum, and Cardano are updated. They need to be updated. That's what I'm trying to say. Because as you can see here, I've got Ethereum, Cardano, Bitcoin, and Polkadot on uh, this Nano X. So of the, you know, three of the four need to be updated. So let's go ahead and all I have to do is do update all. It's then going to do it right now. You can see that Bitcoin does not need to be updated. It's sitting right there. 
All right, so as you can see, Polkadot is finishing up now. Ethereum and Cardano have already been updated here. So give it a few seconds and we'll be done. Perfect, awesome. So everything is updated accordingly on the Nano X. You can see the different apps like before. Let me just, if I can get it to focus. There we go, perfect, right there, all right. And um, you know, let me show you. Hey, if you wanna add something else, like what do we wanna add? Um, let's see now, what would be a good one? What about like, nope, sand isn't on there. Let's see here. Um, XRP, ooh, I don't know, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's take a look here. So what if we did Polygon? So let's just click on Polygon install. All right, and then right now it starts installing it onto, oh my, that is so small. Four kilobytes, oh, that's fantastic. That's awesome compared to Polkadot or Cardano. Ha, huh, that's awesome. So there you go, guys. You can see right there the uh, many different applications for your crypto assets. The sizing is, is quite different depending on each uh, blockchain um, in, in terms of the application, okay? And you can see right now that Polygon is installed right there. It's right there, okay? If I wanted to add an account, I could just click right there, add a Polygon account, boom, and we'd be good and off to the races. If you're ever curious, I get this all the stinking time in my comments, which is fine. I, I tell you guys, comment in my videos, but I get this question a lot. Hey, is such and such coin uh, supported? Can How do I get such and such coin on my Ledger product? The best way to do is just go to ledger.com. So then just come on over to crypto assets right up here at the top. You can then search for whatever asset you are thinking that you might wanna to send to your Ledger product. So do this before you buy a Ledger, okay? Do this first, because you don't wanna get surprised thinking like, oh, I thought this was gonna be supported on my Ledger. That's stupid, I get those, those comments, it's ridiculous. You think people could easily just do a quick search, guys, just do it, okay? It's not that hard. Come on over here and let's, let's search for uh, you know EOS, okay? So it's telling me with EOS, it's not supported yet on Ledger Live. You have to use Fairy Wallet, okay? So that's letting you know that you have to use a third-party wallet in order to use EOS with the Ledger, okay? Uh, for example, Cardano used to be that way, okay? We can see that, okay, now it is supported by Ledger Live, the Yori wallet and the ADA Lite wallet. I did a video on ADA Lite. I will do another one for you to show you how to now take your crypto, your Cardano off of ADA Lite and put it back onto Ledger, which I'm super thankful that they finally allowed us to be able to put it on our Ledger and not on a third party. So anyways, just come in here and check for whatever you want to see is something supported. So, all right, Ethereum, yes, is supported on Ledger Live but go here to the website to see what is supported uh, for that particular crypto asset that you are looking for. And that is how you update your Ledger Nano X here with Ledger Live. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, I'll see you when I see you.